Bailey Angle here with head coach of men's soccer at Bluefield College, Chase Nidick. And coach, two big wins for you, 3-0 against Grace College and then 5-0 against Columbia International. What's been behind your success? Well, I think obviously we've got several returning players that have uh, really stepped up and tried to implement what we've been working on the last couple of seasons. Um, you know, Angela Willie, Joel Delgado, um, Joe Stacy, all those guys are returning guys. So certainly the philosophy and the style of play that we're looking to, to play uh, going forward in this season, um, those are kind of the guys behind the success in regards to those new guys trying to learn what we're trying to do here at Bluefield and, and – um, I think it starts with them and then certainly trying to move forward from there. Well, you didn't mention Sven Kleinhans, who is actually the defensive player of the week in the AEC. What's been behind how he has been able to really shut down offenses? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the first thing that he would say is that it helps that he's had a good back line. Um, and certainly for, for Sven's story, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, playing about nine or ten games last season and then tearing his ACL. Um, first and foremost, we're just proud that he's back on the field. We weren't expecting it. And so, um, you know, his recovery has been good, and, and it's been one that was uh, – a long journey for him, I know. Um, we, we were very unlucky last year with four ACL tears in our program. And so bouncing back from that and three of those four guys now back on the field has been really good. And so for Sven, um, certainly commanding the box is a big part of what he's done. And, and I think the big thing for him was um, just the confidence of being back on the field. It's, it's really tough with injuries, um, learning to just kind of mind over matter. Um, and for him, made a couple big saves, um, even in, in last night's game. Um, wasn't tested a lot, um, but when he did come up big, um, it was certainly good for us. We talked about the defense with Sven Kleinhans, but Abel Bagale really has stood out for on the offensive end for Bluefield. What do you like out of him? Bagali's, um he, he's really stepped into his own here in, in year two. Um, and we saw things late last year and into the spring season that we really enjoyed from Abel. Um, and the big thing was that he didn't show up until 10 or 11 games into the season last year. And so he missed all preseason. He missed that early part of the season where he was meshing with the team. And so um, I think being here right off the bat this season was obviously a big part of what he's done. And the great thing about Abel is that uh, he's very no-nonsense. He doesn't get mixed up with the emotional side of the game. He just goes out and plays. He's super fit. Um, and, and he can play a, a, a several different positions for us, whether that's up top, whether that's as a withdrawn forward, whether that's out wide. And so uh, he can be flexible for us where, where we need him. And so his success has shown, and we, we, we expect big things from him this season. you got two big matches coming up this weekend, one against Kaiser and another against Southeastern. What do you expect to happen? Hopefully six points. Um, I mean, I think that's that's – what we're looking for every every road trip, um, and and obviously the, the the next six games, seven games don't don't get any easier. They actually get much tougher, um, and so you know both teams are very good sides. Both receive uh, national votes right now, and so our idea is that if we want to be ranked in the top twenty five in the NAI and and want to want to get there and get into the postseason and be in the national tournament, we've got to beat the best teams. And so a trip down to Florida um, against two very good opponents um, is is part of that building process and so we try to give us some some good quality games leading up to that um, to test us but certainly I think um, at least getting four to six points in Florida are expected and and obviously it's a it's a quick turnaround we play on a Saturday and a Monday so not a lot of recovery um, so it's going to be really important what we do in between those days to make sure our guys are, are adequately prepared for that second match. But thankfully, that first one's a 7.30 kickoff, and so we'll be ready under the lights to get after against Kaiser. Well, either way, a big start for Bluefield College. They're 2-0.